Hi guys, I hope you're all really well. Thank you so much for joining on today's video. Today, as you can tell, I am going to be doing a food shop haul. I, I'm i going to say I went to Tesco. I actually did a online shop and then I went and collected it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys my food shopping. I haven't done one of these in a very long time, but I thought it would be quite good to show you guys especially at this moment of time obviously with everything that's going on right now with all of the expensive expensive lifestyles um and expensive bills food has definitely gone up like i have noticed food's gone up so much um so i have really been trying to find like little tips and tricks and ways that i can kind of get my food shopping but still you know stay on a budget within the budget um and yeah i want to show you guys exactly what i got i like to do a online order because i always find when i go into the shops no matter if it's we're gonna say weight i never shop in weight no matter if it's tesco aldi lidl m&s like you know it could be the most m&s expensive lidl's cheap I will always spend extra than what I need to do. Um, whenever I'm in the shop, I'm always like seeing stuff and adding it to my basket or trolley. Whereas when I do an online order, I don't get tempted. So I always plan my meals um, at the start of every week and I make a little shopping list and then I go ahead and order online and pick it up at my local Tesco's. When I get the food, it always looks like there's nothing. Like I actually think like, oh my God, like I've only ordered like 25 items. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, I don't waste nowhere near as much as, nowhere near as much as I used to when I did go and actually do like a physical shop. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what I got and a few meal ideas so that hopefully this can help you obviously by all means i'm not a financial advisor but your girl's trying to be good with her money like i said we're living in tough times right now so yeah i hope you guys enjoy and hopefully this helps you out um but without further ado let's get into it guys i want to point out as well so everything came to 38 pounds but about I think it's about five or six pounds of that was toilet roll because why is toilet roll so expensive and that was literally the cheapest one that i could get um that wasn't like a full roll pack um yeah toilet roll is so expensive honestly considering like they all do the same job like they just wipe your backside or your front side <laughs> like it's so expensive um and i would say about five pounds of it was lunches so like crisps chocolate you know the not very good stuff but listen we're very realistic here okay we do like a little bit of a chocolate bar to go with our lunch or in the evening um so i actually say everything i'm about to show you dinner wise and some of this you can actually make enough to have the next day for lunches so everything was about under 30 pounds um which is not bad that's for the two of us that's for jamie and i um, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys. Before I show you the food, I'm just going to show you this quick. So, at the start of um, every week, I always plan my food, my meals. It's actually, um, what's it? It's actually Saturday today. So, today I'm going to do roast dinner and then we're going to start off like that. Um, but yeah, I always plan my meals. I always get food ideas and inspo from TikTok or um, just online or from what I kind of know to make myself. Um, but I found a guy on TikTok. I'm going to try, if I can remember, if I forget, please let me know in the comments. But there's a guy that, um, on TikTok that, TikTok, <laughs> can't talk, TikTok that makes dinner I, recipes for under £5. Um, and it's really, really good. So some of his stuff, like fajita pasta, I think, and the chicken curry is um, an idea from his TikTok. Okay, so here we go, my weekly food shop. I'd like to point out there's no veg, uh, not vegetables, fruits, because I already have a few fruits from um, like bananas and stuff left from last week. So I'm trying again, like I said, to not waste foods and actually eat what I've got in the fridge. Um, so I'm going to start from this side. So obviously today I'm going to make a roast dinner. I always, always get the biggest chicken that you can get. This is a bit about five pounds. However, you can get lunches out of this for about two days even um 
uh, what am I going to say, even the, like the next day's dinner. So tomorrow I'm going to do chicken wraps. Um, I'm going to use the leftover chicken because we won't obviously have all of the chicken today. Um, so I always get a roast in the bag because it's just a little bit more easier. It's a little bit more, but um, it does last you for the next couple of days. It's always a really good idea. Um, and who doesn't love a roast dinner? Okay, then got some basmati rice, some fajita mix. I'm going to do like a chicken fajita pasta. I'm also going to have pasta a couple of times this week. So I've got the 1kg bag because this will basically do two dinners as well as two lunches um so i'm gonna get about four meals out of that um so yeah i get the huge huge bag yeah i'm gonna do macaroni cheese and fajita chicken pasta i then got some bacon that bacon um is for the macaroni cheese i like to put a bit of um crispy bacon within the macaroni cheese then just got some orange juice, some cheese, cheddar cheese sauce, that is for the macaroni cheese. So I actually bought some chicken drumsticks. Usually I'd get diced chicken or chicken fries, but I'm going to try and basically fill all of this and use this as my kind of chicken sauce for the week. This whole thing was £2.50 or around £2.50. You can't even get £2.50 worth of, like, diced chicken. So the whole box, or whatever you want to call this, this whole tub is £2.50. And, yeah, I'm going to try and fill it here. It's just such a good idea. You literally can Google and YouTube how to fill it chicken drumsticks. But so, so much cheaper than getting your chicken fries or chicken breast. Um, if you can learn how to de-skin it, de um like to fill it to fill it the chicken off the bone then um yeah you'll save yourself so so much money and obviously i've got quite a bit of um quite a few chicken dinners coming up this week so yeah i am really excited because i'm going to try this new way and i feel like you save so much money if i didn't get this i would have got chicken fires and they are literally at least five pounds it's ridiculous I then got some spinach, I love spinach, I have it with anything, I can even have it with like <laughs> as a bowl on its own, like wilted down with garlic, I love it. I um, then got some carrot, cauliflower and broccoli, that is for tonight's dinner, for the roast dinner. Got some lettuce, that's for the chicken wraps and then I'm sure I will find other uses so that it doesn't go to waste. Got a pepper, that's for the fajita chicken. We then have these Velveeta soft baked chocolate hazelnut. If you do your shopping at Tesco, I would highly recommend getting a Tesco club card because these are usually about £2.99 and I think they're about a pound, which is really good if you've got the um, Tesco club card. So you'll end up saving yourself so, many, so much money and these are really nice if you're in a rush in the morning um, to quickly have it. I then got some baked beans here and here and some chopped tomatoes. Baked beans are so, so cheap, especially as well. Actually, chopped tomatoes are really cheap as well. Um, but you can have beans on toast or jacket potatoes. You could literally do so much with baked beans. You can even make like a vegetarian chilli with it. Um, so yeah, I've got a couple of tins of baked beans. I got this very lazy chilli. This actually spilled all in the back. So that was great. Um, this is a little bit pricey, this is about £2, however in the long run it actually saves you a little bit more because this whole tub will last you forever, um, so they're very very, you know, so in hindsight you actually save quite a lot of money, um, especially if you put ch chilli in quite a lot of um, things which I do. I then got coriand coriander, uh, I did want fresh coriander but they actually didn't have any so um, I just got some dried coriander leaf um in this like little spice jar don't know like how well this is gonna be but we'll soon see i got barbecue sauce this is for my hunter's chicken tomorrow and then these are just kind of the uh cheeky bits <laughs> so salted caramel munch bars never tried these but i love anything salted caramel tesco's own range with cereal bars are really really delicious and they're only like a pound they're so good um so yeah you don't need to go for all like the branded boxes and um, tesco's is really good on its own then got some chocolate so i just got the aero chocolate bars um then i got a few packs of crisps and then crumpets 
and bread. Okay guys, that was a very short and quick video, I know. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it's helped someone because, like I said, everything's so expensive nowadays. And if we can all help each other and give each other our own little tips and kind of meal ideas and food shopping ideas, then um, we'll save our monies and pennies, which is great. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know where you like to do your food shopping. Let me know kind of food ideas, meal ideas down below so we can all help each other. Um, yeah, I will see you all in my next video. I hope you guys take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye, guys.